Alright guys, welcome to Solid Motion VFX Let's do a quick camera mapping or camera projection with the free tool FSpy uh, You need the FSpy program uh, which is a free software I will provide a link to that in the description as well as the add-on which is also free for Blender So it's pretty simple, when you have the program open here, I'm using Windows Then you just uh, drag in your, your image, drop it in there and then you're gonna set up your axes and uh, you want to match up like you do in Blender, so the Z axis upwards. So I'm just gonna play around with these Y axis first. And uh, if you want a final control, hold down Shift, then you can see the the corners. And if you this uh, image is uh, darkened a little bit, so if you guys uncheck this dim image, then you can see the normal uh, lighting. Then let's go up and hold Shift again. I'm just gonna set this up. Okay, and now you see the z-axis is uh, turning uh, downwards, so what you can do, go up to the y here, and just choose negative y, that's going to bring the z-axis up, and um, then you have uh, this uh, 3D guide, you can put in a box to test your geometry, how it looks like, uh, but I would like to use a flow instead, so xy grid flow, bring that down. Like so, and it matches pretty good our scene here. So uh, then you're gonna just save the file, and you're gonna save the file as a fspy room fspy dot fspy, and just save it out. Replace, yes please, and then you're gonna go in and open up Blender. So inside Blender, I just created a new scene, uh, deleted the default cube and camera and everything, and after you have the uh, add-on uh, installed. You're gonna enable it, import, export, import fspy project here, and then go up to file, import, fspy. Find your file, room fspy, import, and that's gonna bring in your camera. So that's what you have right now. So let's go in and make some planes here. And here you can go in and chain on the snapping, snapping over here, and of course the auto uh, merge the vertices. So put on auto snapping and put the vertex, like so. Do the same with the other one. And we can move that. And now, of course, as well, choose all the the top edges and hit F to create a roof here. So this is what you have now. Let's go in and create the material, go into the shading. And delete the principal BSDF. Add in an emission. Plug it into the surface. And also add in a image texture. And here you're gonna of course choose your file. Okay, go back to layout mode. So let's see this in render mode. And here, now we wanna apply the UV modifier. UV project in the UV map, click the UV map. An object, pick your camera. The camera is called Room F Spy here. Like so, and for the aspect ratio, what you want to do here is you want to divide this number with this number to get your aspect ratio. So let's just plug those numbers in. 2560 divided with uh, 1600, that's uh, 1.6. Okay, so you want to plug that in the aspect ratio, 1.6, like so. Perfect. And uh, then uh, you can uh, either make some loop cuts or you can uh, subdivide it. So I'm gonna actually go in and uh, subdivide it. So add in a subdivision service modifier, put it to symbol, and this one I wanna move 
up, so it's before the so it's before the UV project, and then uh, give it a count of try three first. We could maybe say four, and then uh, we'll go into the shading again, and from the image fixer change from repeat to clip. So we are only seeing, we are clipping out everything uh, beside what our camera is looking at, like so. And what you want to do here, you can go in and hit your camera, hit Shift D to duplicate that, and then this camera is the one we want to animate. So this camera goes to the View, Cameras, Set Active, like so. So now this one is active, and this one you can actually animate now. Just so ever slightly. Like that. Now of course you can go in and add in some geometry. Now you have this animation. Okay. Now let's make a, a floor and a light source coming from above. So we can get some shadows in there. I'll switch to cycles. Uh, let's see here for film, make it transparent. And with the floor selected, go down to visibility, shadow catcher. Let's add in a light. Let's just do a point. Just play with the light until you get that angle you want. Okay, so let's put a material on the monkey. Let's go into shading, and I just put a material on here. We want to be uh, reflective, so complete re reflective, uh, metallic and metallic up and roughness all the way down. So now he should be re reflecting the environment around him. Let's do a quick render. As you see, we see the geometry scene we have around him. So that's exactly what we want. So for the compositing, where we're going to separate the monkey and the flow, which is the shadow catcher, and the environment inside the compositing. The way we do that is that uh, you're going to make collections. And uh, if you just take the monkey as Suzanne, in this, you hit M, and then you press New Collection and give it a name. I gave it a name of OBG for objects. And inside this objects here, I also added in the two lights because if you just render the monkey uh, without the lights, you'll just get uh, like a diffuse color without no uh, reflection on. So you should have uh, some lights in there as well. And the same with the shadow. You will hit the M, new collection, and call it shadow. And then um, when you, I do the same for the room, which is actually the whole plan here the whole geometry we have here so for this one new collection and room again so when you have created these collections then you're gonna make some layers and uh, layers is uh, actually how you look at your render layers inside the compositing so right now view layer is uh, basically showing everything so that means the full frame you're seeing here with everything with the room the lights the object and the flow and um, the way you create a new layer, just hit this button here and say new layer. And then when you do that, I already created a few. So I made a monkey and a shadow and a main background, which is actually the geometry. If we choose the shadow, look what's going to happen on the screen. If I pick the shadow, you can only see the shadow right now. If I pick the monkey, you can only see the monkey head, Suzanne, without the shadows and re re without the background. So that's how we composite things separately. And uh, if we go back to shadow, the way we do this, if uh, you make you created a collection with the shadow inside here, and then because you wanna uh, isolate the shadow, while you're in the shadow layer, you will go into the object, right click, view layer, and then. Uh, sit indirect only. We'll click this button here. When you do that, we're gonna see uh, only the shadow. So actually, let's try uh, clear indirect only. Now you see. Now we have both the monkey and the shadow, right? 
So right click, view layer, set internet globally. Now I only have the shadow. And the same thing with the monkey. Inside the monkey here, you'll click on the shadow view layer and then uh, set interact only. So you only have your object monkey here without the without the shadow. And uh, same with the room. The room you just uh, have uh, the actual. Let's go inside here. Check main BG. So that's just the room by itself without the shadow and without the the Susan head. Now let's go in and look at the compositive. So this is how you will set it up. Okay. So when you inside the compositing, the compositing is what what uh, is like the view layer almost like uh, where you have all your things uh, composited on top of each other. And the viewer is just showing what you're showing in here, but you cannot see everything. You cannot see anything unless you actually do a render. But uh, let's delete this one. So create free render layers and just shift A, search render layer, and there it is, and just duplicate them. So the first one here, you want to call that main background. Connect that to an alpha overlay, and the bottom of the alpha overlay you want your monkey this one so right now these are all laying on top of alpha overlay so the monkey head will be on top of the background here and then you just duplicate this alpha overlay with another one put this uh, on the top and then you want your shadow here at the bottom of this alpha overlay and just connect it out to the uh, composite and to actually be able to see it hit f12 to a render and as you see, while it's rendering, now it's rendering uh, the view layer, which is uh, the whole scene. And after the view layer, it's going to render all the all the other layers. Now it's doing the shadow, which you can see here. Okay. So now after we rendered it, you can see it's, it came in here as the in the monkey scene. We have isolated the monkey head. The shadow, we have the shadow here. So that is exactly what we wanted. But as you definitely see, we have a problem with our main background here. So let's go and see the main background. What is the issue here? So for the main background, we have the two cameras and that's what we want. But what we don't have is our room enabled here. So click that and do uh, another render. All right. So now we did another render. And uh, as you can see here now, this is our file composite. This is uh, it's when you look at this wind, uh, this layer here, it says composite, right? So you have your background, you have your object, and you have your shadow here. And you can go into the individual uh, layers by the main background. You will see only the background. And if you choose monkey, you should only see Suzanne. And if you choose shadow, you should only see uh, the shadow. Uh, but you can see we have a problem here on the on the top here. Uh, we have some distortions here, right? So how to fix that? Let's close this down. And to update this, by the way, the render layer with the background, just unclick here and click it on again. That's how you can update things. So let's go into the layout. And uh, to fix that issue I talked about, uh, let's go into the object here, the our plane, the room. And it's because of this render, set this up to 4 as well. And now let's do uh, another render. And now that should be solved. And there you have it. Let's isolate the main background. You can see now we have straight lines. And we don't have any distortion up here. So that's just by increasing the, the render accounts for the subdivision we, we, uh, which we had in there. So this is how you composite. Uh, let me know if you need to, if you need me to go more in depth about this, because uh, this is actually how how powerful Blender is. I mean, uh, Blender is a 3D application, but you can do some really awesome compositing in here, and also uh, color correction if you if you want that. And then uh, of course, while we are seeing this room, if you want to see everything again right now, you're seeing main background layer. So if you choose view layer, that's gonna show everything. And uh, we did a small camera animation, so it goes 
slowly on the y-axis just zooming in there and as you see it it's also uh, you're seeing the reflection uh, are changing because we're actually zooming in and uh, it's getting adaptive um, update while it's moving in so what you can do here is you can build more to the geometry you can uh, clear these uh, windows out with a uh, emission shader and actually add some coolness to this all right guys so you can add some uh, emission uh, in there in those two uh, faces uh, polygons and uh, basically you can do that with uh, the whole geometry you can actually change it and if you have some more geometry in here like uh, if you have a desk here or any object then just also block that out so you add some more depth into the uh, your final image here so uh, you can really create some cool things with this uh, but to be honest I I like it just without the any of the lighting here so you have the core short animation here and let's just look at the reflection here and how it reacts to the whole scene so that's really cool so uh, I hope you learned something guys and enjoyed this. Please subscribe um, if you want to see more. Uh, hit the like button and if you want to uh, go more deep into the compositing, please let me know in the comments and I will definitely do that. So thank you guys.